Jane Darwell, a famous actress, made a big impact on movies with her unforgettable performances. Whether you first saw her in a film or have a favorite role, her talent shines through. What's your favorite memory or personal story about this classic actress? Share your thoughts below and keep watching for more interesting facts. Jane Darwell, a renowned actress, has left an indelible mark on cinema with her diverse roles. One standout performance is in The Grapes of Wrath, where she won an Academy Award for her role as Ma Jode, showcasing resilience during the Great Depression. In Gone with the Wind, she portrays Mrs. Merriweather with warmth and depth, contributing to the film's ensemble cast. These movies highlight Darwell's talent and versatility, solidifying her status as a beloved figure in Hollywood history. Whether in tear-jerking moments of the Grapes of Wrath or the comforting scenes of Gone with the Wind, Darwell captivates audiences with her authentic portrayals. Her dedication to her craft and ability to embody characters make her a true legend of the silver screen. Jane Darwell portrayed Mrs. Samuels in Jesse James, the first of four films where she collaborated with Henry Fonda. The next year, she and Fonda played mother and son in The Grapes of Wrath, earning Darwell an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. They reunited two years later for the Oxbow Incident and one final time in My Darling Clementine. Darwell appeared in six films directed by John Ford, The Grapes of Wrath, My Darling Clementine, Ford Apache, The Quiet Man, Three Godfathers, and The Sun Shines Bright. She won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for The Grapes of Wrath at the 13th Academy Awards. Jane Darwell portrayed memorable characters in various films. In the Oxbow Incident, she played Ma Greer, reuniting with Henry Fonda, who previously starred alongside her as Tom Joad in The Grapes of Wrath. Later in her career, she took on the role of the Bird Woman in Mary Poppins. Initially hesitant due to her semi-retired status, Walt Disney personally convinced her to accept the part, visiting her in her retirement home to express his desire for her to join the cast. However, it was her portrayal of Ma Joad in The Grapes of Wrath that showcased her talent. In a crucial scene, Darwell's character is illuminated by a match held by Henry Fonda's character, Tom. This effect was achieved through innovative lighting techniques by Greg Toland, enhancing the emotional depth of the scene. Throughout her career, Jane Darwell demonstrated her versatility and skill as an actress, leaving a lasting impact on cinema. Jane Darwell portrayed memorable characters in several significant films. In Mary Poppins, she played the Bird Woman, appearing alongside Arthur Treacher, though they shared no scenes. It marked the final film for both actors. Earlier, they worked separately in Steen Killersbeek Anderson, and Darwell featured in Shirley Temple's Captain January. In the Oxbow incident, Darwell stepped into the role of Ma Greer after Sarah Allgood and Florence Bates. Allgood was initially cast, but replaced due to injury. Her portrayal added depth to the character in the finished film, her roles in five films are recognized for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance gone with the wind, the grapes of wrath, the oxbow incident, my darling Clementine, and Mary Poppins. These movies are considered important in cinema history. Jane Darwell's performances continue to connect with audiences, showing her versatility and talent in playing different characters across famous films. Jane Darwell, recognized for her role as the Bird Woman in Mary Poppins, was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6 and 735 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, on February 8, 1960. Living at the motion picture country home in Woodland Hills, California, when approached for the role, she initially said no. However, Walt Disney's persistence led him to personally visit her at the home, ultimately convincing her to take the part. A limo was sent to fetch and return her during her one day of shooting. In another notable role, she portrayed the isolation matron in Caged, alongside acclaimed actresses Eleanor Parker, Agnes Moorhead, Hope Emerson, Jan Sterling, Ellen Corby, and herself. Her significant roles in Mary Poppins and Caged are celebrated with a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. She left a mark on the film industry with her memorable performances. In the movie Design for Living, Jane Darwell played the role of Curtis Housekeeper, starring alongside Frederick March and Gary Cooper, who both won Oscars just like her. Miriam Hopkins, who was also nominated for an Oscar, was part of the cast too. But it was in The Grapes of Wrath that she made a big impression, winning an Oscar for her role as Ma Jode. That was her only Oscar nomination. 
After retiring in 1959, she lived at the Motion Picture Country Home in Woodland Hills, California, enjoying her well-deserved break after years of hard work in the industry. And that's where Walt Disney Pictures asked her to play the Bird Woman in Mary Poppins. At first, she wasn't sure, but she agreed after Walt Disney himself visited her at the MPCH to convince her. Jane Darwell was incredibly talented and gave unforgettable performances. People really loved her work in Hollywood. She inspired lots of actors and filmmakers. In My Darling Clementine, Jane Darwell portrayed Kate Nelson, her second appearance in a John Ford film. Prior to this, she famously played Ma Jode in The Grapes of Wrath. Ford, known for his preference for spontaneity, directed Darwell and Henry Fonda in a crucial scene of the latter film, achieving brilliance in a single take. Darwell collaborated with Ford on several other occasions, including voice work in The Battle of Midway and roles in four subsequent films, concluding with The Last Hurrah. Darwell's career is detailed in actresses of a certain character 40 familiar Hollywood faces from the 30s to the 50s by Axel Nissen. Her performances, particularly as Ma Jode, showcased her talent and ability to embody memorable characters. In The Grapes of Wrath, Ford's minimalistic approach led to a powerful and spontaneous performance from Darwell. The director's method, involving little rehearsal and only one take, captured the essence of the scene between Darwell and Fonda, leaving a lasting impression on screen. Jane Darwell portrayed memorable characters in several notable films. In The Grapes of Wrath, she played Ma Jode. During filming, tensions arose between her and director John Ford, who mistreated another actress, Doris Bowden. Despite initial conflicts, Darwell delivered a flawless performance, earning respect from Ford. Similarly, in Gone with the Wind, she portrayed Mrs. Merriweather alongside a star-studded cast. Her talent earned her an Oscar for her role in The Grapes of Wrath. Additionally, she appeared in other acclaimed films such as Mary Poppins and The Oxbow Incident, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Her impact on cinema remains significant, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. Actress Jane Darwell won an Oscar for her role as Ma Jode in The Grapes of Wrath. She didn't stop there, though. Her career included many different roles, showing how she could play different characters. One notable later role was as the wise elderly bird woman in Mary Poppins. Even as she got older, she kept acting and showing her talent. She played a variety of characters throughout her career, earning respect in the industry. Remembered for her performances in both classic and contemporary films, her work lives on through the movies she was in. Darwell's impact extends beyond just awards. Her work continues to inspire generations of actors and filmmakers alike, showing how her acting affected the movie world. Her ability to inhabit diverse roles with authenticity and depth remains a sign of her skill and dedication to her art. Truly, Jane Darwell's influence on the silver screen is timeless. This narrative celebrates not only her achievements, but also the creative spirit and passion she brought to every role she undertook, leaving a lasting impression on the world of cinema.